for anyone who wants to learn how to be very successful at a career that you love, I want you to listen to Stephen L. Good, Chairman and CEO of Sheldon Good & Company, the premier auction company in real estate, as listed by Forbes, Fortune, Crane Chicago Business, just to name a few. Steve Good has done billions of dollars of closed transactions, including he's worked with Donald Trump. And he's one of the most fascinating, exciting people that I have ever interviewed. So please welcome Stephen L. Good at his corporate headquarters in Chicago. Thanks, Steve. I'm glad to be here. And what I wanted to do is ask you, I know from interviewing you several times for books, that you embrace certain skills that people have to have to be successful. And I'd like to talk through a few of those that you believe are very critical to success. Starting with number one, why it's important to expose yourself to a number of jobs. Well, um, probably the biggest problem that most people have when they go out job hunting is they aren't quite sure what it is that they want to do and therefore find themselves in a quagmire. And so one of the things that was very important during my career as I was starting out was to try to get as many internships and mentorships as I could as a way of getting an idea of what I was good at and what I liked to do and what I didn't like to do. So I ultimately had internships, for example, working for a senator one year, working for the governor another year, working in, uh, in uh, city government one year, another year uh, working as an assistant state's attorney, uh, as an assistant uh, United States attorney. So I got a, got a real good feel working in, uh, at Sheldon Good and Company. And I know that your internship in Sheldon Good, that's how you found out that you that it was something you really loved. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's like anything else, though, is that it's important, particularly if you're a student, to get jobs in a variety of different areas that you think may be interesting for you because they give you a bird's eye view of whether you're going to like it when you're done and ultimately if that's where you want to make your career. So I think that internships and mentorships are very important. And the next thing is you always talk to me about why it's important to have something unique. So the one, number one question that always runs through your head is why should they hire you? Why is that so important? Well, um, like anything else, and you know, we've been talking about it before, and that is that um, you know, life is in perpetual interview if you think about it. You're always vying for a job of some sort and, or an assignment of some sort. And so the thing that's very important in that regard is that people hire people that they think will do a good job and that they think are unique. So one of the things that I've always tried to do with not only myself but with my company and everyone around me is make us unique so that people see us as a different opportunity for them to do business with and to have relationships with. So being unique is very important and anything you can do to, to basically distinguish yourself from the pack I think is very beneficial. And how about education uh, coming into that? Because I know that you are certified throughout, I think, 27 states or more. So you get more. So talk to me about the importance of education. Well, um, education for its own sake is nice, but more importantly, the ability to read, write, and think you know, critically, I think, is very, very important. And be able to do all three at the same time you know, is a real blessing. The other thing that I think is very relevant is that you know, the only thing that our generation can count on is change. And not only that, but having the skill to educate yourself after you're done with school, I think is a very, very important element because um, you know that things are going to change and you have to have the ability to learn. And not only does the ability to learn make you more proficient in your job, but also makes your life more interesting because you can learn things you didn't know about and continue to grow. So it's good stuff. That makes sense. And we've been growing and learning because the two of us are writing several papers uh, that are accepted uh, for major publications and uh, I've also chronicled you in my own books and you have a best-selling book Churches, Jails, and Gold Mines. So why is writing so important in a career? Well, uh, if you have the ability to write, what that means is you have the ability to basically get your message to a very, very broad audience and um, because you know most people get their information from reading or from, or from print media or from uh, electronic media. And so one of the things that I found to be very effective is I had some pretty interesting messages, and I find that writing is a very good way of sending those messages. And the other thing that's terrific is that it's a very good way of chronicling those things that you've been involved with during the course of your life and the course of your career, because the shelf life of writings are usually very, very good and can be very effective, particularly as you create a repertoire of writings over the course of a career. 
or on a or on a topic or as a way of making yourself an expert. And going along with that, I know that you serve as a leader of many professional organizations, including you were the president of the Chicago Association of Realtors. For people that don't know, that's the third largest organization in real estate throughout the United States, has over 16,000 members. So tell me why that's important in success. Well, um, I think more importantly, and, and by the way, it's, it's a nice thing to have been the president. It's kind of like Harry Truman says, you know, he used to be the president. <laughs> and. Um, but I think more importantly is that um, the way that you become a leader is because you like what you're involved in and people think that you have a good vision and you have the ability to articulate your message in a way that's inspiring. And so the long and short of it is that I think that the, the concept of leadership really goes hand in hand with being enthusiastic in whatever you're involved in. So whether it's uh, a real estate trade organization, whether it's a civic, philanthropic, or community organization, whether it's being you know, the president of the PTA, it doesn't make a big difference. What's important is, is that if you're passionate about things, you'll become a leader for no other reason than, and, and, and particularly if you have a good message and a good vision, you'll become a leader for no other reason than people will agree with you and you'll be inspired and you'll go far with it, which is really what happened with me. That's true. And how, how is networks really built into your... Well, I think like anything else, um, you know, we uh, we all get by with a little help from our friends, and as you know, it's one of my favorite lines. And um, the reality of things is, there's no such thing as a self-made person. In other words, to be successful, someone at some point that's somewhere further along than you are takes a liking to you and gives you a break. Now, what you do with that break is the difference between success and failure. So, one of the things I've been very um, that I've been very focused on for a very long time is making a lot of friends because friends do business with friends and to have friends you got to be one and you need a you know when you need a friend is when you need them and the long short and the long and short of it is everything recycles around more than once so the long and short of it as far as I'm concerned is that my entire um, waking existence is spent networking although it's fun networking it's social it's business it's community it's all self-integrated and it's all worked out great well, that's true, and you also have a lot of fun doing business, and I know that. Both of us, because I've interviewed you several times, and we believe that all of life is a job interview. And so for people out there, uh, whether they're wanting to get in a leadership role for an organization or get a job at an organization, tell us just some key points of what they need to have to get hired. A um, couple things. First thing, you have to do your homework, so you need to know who you're speaking with, and the nature of the organization, how it works so that you can demonstrate that you not only understand the organization but can also be a valuable asset to it. Another element that becomes very important is um, demonstrating a track record. Another element that becomes very important is that if you have someone that's been involved with the group or with the person before, you want to use that contact as a way of networking your way in so that they know that you're credible and that you'll do a good job. And then finally, you always want to do a complete job completely. In other words, you always want to do, um, you always want to be someone that someone can turn to and say, I know that if I vest this person with this responsibility or with this job task or with this fill in the blank, they'll do a good job and they'll get done right. And that's really, it all kind of ties into each other. Well, thank you, Steve. I think that's great advice for everybody to be successful. And I have to tell you, we've been friends now and done business together and You've taken me places in business that I really never envisioned and had fun doing it. And I know that you and I both believe in the philosophy that you tout, get by with a little help from your friends. So thank you for being my friend and sharing this story. Thank you.